Alright guys, this is going to be for my cancers out there or cancer cross watcher. I am so excited. I was so excited to do this message. The energy is beautiful. I was picking up on a song by Brian Adams. But before we get into it, I went ahead and pause. pause. I went ahead and um, turned the oven off because I have food in the oven and y'all know I burn my food all the time because I do these videos. Forget my food's in there until I smell it <clears throat> and uh, end up burning it. So I turned it off. It's just kind of sitting in the heat. But yeah, oh my god, I can't stop smiling. This is a romantic person I'm picking up on, unless it's you, okay? This could be someone you're currently with. This could be an ex of yours who still is madly in love with you. This could be a new person, like a, a complete and total stranger. It could be someone you're talking to, getting to know. Someone coming towards you that you have no clue feels this way. This is a very romantic, loving person. I'm going to give an example. If it's a man, this type of man is probably very close to his mama or was she may be past now I don't know but he he respects women he respects the, the woman body even he respects mothers specifically any mother he respects that he looks at that as something sacred being a mom um, this is the type of man whether it's his own wife his own he put the seed in there himself the baby in the belly himself he could be someone's best friend have a best friend woman or this could be a gay guy who has a best friend a girl and she's pregnant either way this guy let's say it's a new guy and he's coming in someone's life and she's pregnant at the time or she you know what I mean and he will this this type of person if it's a guy would sit and help her birth that baby no joke I can feel it <clears throat> this type of man would get in like a water birth with her whoever she would be to him, and he would help her birth that baby. He would be there every step of the way. He would rub her shoulders. He would rub her back. He would be there with her. He would help her breathe. He would never leave her side. This is a complete caregiver, caretaker. Woman, same thing. Same thing. This is a nurturer. This is a lover. This is someone who will sit there and cry with you, cry over you, cry for you. And we'll also be right there to get you right back up, you know, because emotions doesn't always have to be like tears and heartfelt and things like that. It can also be like support. Like, I am here. You are not alone. Like a shoulder to lean on. You can talk to me. You may even spill your guts to her and you don't even know why you're doing it. You're just telling her your whole life story. You're just kind of letting it all out there. Okay, this is who this person is, unless this is entirely reversed. Let me, um, or this is how you are and they see you this way. The reason I want to say that is because the song I'm picking up on is so romantic. Do y'all know who Brian Adams is? Maybe that means something to somebody here. I don't know. Brian Adams has some of the most romantic songs I've ever heard. Let's, uh, let's look into this. The song I was hearing was to really love a woman. And we are going to read some of the lyrics. Also, the color maroon has been standing out to me for days. I don't know if that means anything to somebody here. I know I got maroon here a bit, but maroon, actual maroon, unless somebody really likes maroon five or the number five or 14 is even specific. But well, also maroon can be like isolating, right? To be isolated, isolation. But yeah, something to do with maroon. I think this is an individual here who finds a person striking. Everything about a person, okay? Especially their aura. Not just their looks, not just how they carry themselves, but their aura. You know when you can tell how somebody is because they light up a room? Like whether they're walking into the room or you're walking into a room that they're in, just how they are, their soul speaks for themselves. And then when you start talking to them and you hear about how they are, you can just tell how this person is, okay? This could be how someone's seeing you, vice versa. Remember, it could be an ex, a current partner, a new person, a stranger, anybody, right? Only you're gonna know. <clears throat> Feels like a masculine to me that's feeling this way about a feminine, but it could be anybody. This is someone who's like, you are striking. You are so incredibly striking to me. Everything about your character, your personality, your looks, your aura is striking. I'm completely subdued by you. Now, to turn this a little bit, there could be something about striking, unless you're on strike. Someone could be striking. Striking at a business, taking a stand. Like, you could strike in a lot of ways, right? There could be something to do here with, like, union, actual people striking in businesses. 
or you know like striking struck striking striking gold could also be like striking or striking well, I would never strike a woman that's how I hear it. I would never ever put my hands on a woman this is a man if it's a man they would never put their hands on a woman ever ever and they would never let anyone put their hands on a woman ever if this is a woman she would never put her hands on another person that's where she draws the line she's like I don't I don't get physical if I get to the point where I ever want to get physical with you and hurt you then I'd rather hurt oh I'm hearing rather hurt myself don't do that but or I'd rather walk away or just I can't do that I don't want to hurt anybody you know but also there could be something to do with like striking you know starstruck even someone could feel a little bit starstruck here maybe some of you are like famous or in the public eye that's not for everybody but you might be I don't know that's for somebody so anyway they find you striking let's get into the lyrics this is so romantic I can't even to really love a woman to understand her you got to know her deep inside hear every thought see every dream and give her wings when she wants to fly give her her freedom don't suffocate the shit out of her see a lot of times we think love is suffocation we think suffocation no breathing don't give a f okay anyway somebody likes rock here for sure i've been picking up on rock all day but um uh, maybe classic rock better so hear every thought see every dream like i can i can envision i literally listen to you i can picture a woman talking right now and she's telling a woman or a man whoever this is Either she's personally telling him or she's just talking in general like this, right? About her dreams, what she wants to do. And this is someone taking fucking notes, I tell you. They're taking notes. They're listening. And not only are they listening, but they're picturing it with her. Like, picturing it with her. They're like, oh, you want to go to Greece? You want to go to Ireland? Just check. Like, they're maybe taking notes on it. I'm not kidding. This is someone who pays attention. They want to fulfill your dreams. They care about your bucket list. They care about you being able to do the things you want to do. And not only that, they help you manifest it as well is how I'm hearing it because they can they can envision it with you they see you in these places they see you in that home they see you holding that baby they see you marrying them depending on who it is they see you as theirs and then when you want to be free they want you to be free like this isn't someone who wants to like hold a woman down no I want to support you I want to hold you up baby I'm gonna hold you up and this is not a fairy tale. People like Brian Adams exist, you know, like lovers. Look at Ed Sheeran, how he is, like lovers, you know. Then when you find yourself lying helpless in her arms, you know you really love a woman. Like even the most burliest of men, or even the most like, I won't let anybody in, the most guarded person will lay down their guard for her. And in turn, she will be subdued with them because it's equal. It's equal. Loved. Are you both cancers? Are you both water signs? Because this is like very understanding energy. Now, you don't have to be, but this is like, I get you. I understand you. Like, I love you, baby. I know what you need. I know what you want. And not only do I know, I listen, I pay attention, and I want the same things, and I want to give you that. And then we give equally to each other. I could not wait to get this message out. Like, this is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Oh, my God. <sighs> It's not a fucking fairy tale, which makes it even more beautiful. Because I can get into this. You know, I believe in it. It's real. These people exist. And they're going to find each other if they haven't already. Or they're going to come back together. Or they're going to stay together and fall even deeply, even more deeply in love. When you love a woman, you tell her that she's really wanted. When you love her, you tell her that she's the one. Because she needs somebody to tell her that it's going to last forever. Tell me, have you ever really loved a woman? Like, this is someone, too, who may even look at other people, other men or other women, like, I don't even know how you could get somebody like her or get someone like him because of how you treat women. Like, I don't understand. I would treat you better. I would love you better. Why am I seeing a... You remember those little hats? Crowns. They're crowns from like um, Burger King. I'm seeing crowns. But I, you know, I've been seeing crowns lately a lot now that I think about it, and I kind of ignored it. There was a tree at Cracker Barrel last week that I saw. Me and my mom went to eat at Cracker Barrel with my grandma. That was, that was interesting getting her in and out, bless her heart. But 
the um, one of the trees in there was like a white tree. It looked like a New Year's tree. It had a crown as the star on top. They're doing things modern now. They don't do stars anymore. They do crowns and stuff. They had a Santa climbing the tree. I was like, damn. They had a broom, a Halloween broom. Oh my God, y'all got to go check out some Cracker Barrel, okay? Especially if y'all like decorating or y'all like horror, you need to go see. They have a broom that just goes around the store. It looks like it's like levitating. A Halloween broom, a witch's broom. Yeah, and there was like this grim reaper just sitting in the middle of the floor but he also goes across the floor like just you know and santa like i said climbing the tree climbing the tree i tell you stringing the lights on the tree what of course it was mechanical but i was like damn no. to really love a woman let her hold you till you know how she needs to be touched she'll tell you in the way she touches like this person don't miss a fucking minute they know every little crease every little crevice they pay attention to everything every little every little dip in the hip every little i don't care if it's a skin tag this person knows about it they pay attention they'll kiss every fucking area they're gentle when they need to be and every like they pay attention like you tell me if you want it more rough you tell me if you want me to be gentler you tell me if you want me to give you some space you tell me what you want you tell me you tell me if you want me to reach behind you and grab it you put my hands there and i'll do what you want me to do this is someone who's like i will be whatever you want me to be i'm supportive of you i am entirely supportive of you and it would be mutual because she would be supportive of them you know stop it god you got to give her some faith hold her tight a little tenderness got to treat her right you will be there for her or wait she will be there for you taking good care of you you gotta love your woman basically you get the point you gotta love your fucking woman this is someone who has those type of values you know whether or not their mother was treated well by their father they believe a woman should be treated well whether they're a woman themselves or a man it don't matter they believe a woman should be treated with respect and they believe that you are the one for them so if you're in a relationship, I don't know what it looks like if you're already married or not. If not, it looks like it's going that way, okay? If you're already married, your person's in love with you. They don't want anybody else <laughs> at all. If you are completely single and you're not talking to anybody and you're like, I don't know, well, you might not be for long. It depends on what you want if you reciprocate. For, but here you go. You might have even thought some of these people, like this type of person doesn't exist. Wrong. They exist, but most of them are married and already taken. But I don't know, maybe this one was, for some of you, this person might have been married or taken when they met you, but they're not now. <clears throat> Damn. Well, why? I don't know. We're not getting into that. I'm telling you, they feel like you fit them perfectly. Vice versa. If this is how, if you're the masculine or the feminine watching this that feels that way about a, a woman, either way, it's like my food. How I said a minute ago, my food being in the oven, I can smell it. I can literally smell the garlic, the onions, whatever you like. Think about it this way. You take on this energy. Who you are permeates. People can, I'm not saying you smell. I mean, you probably do, but you smell amazing. You just, you're, maybe it's the pheromones. I don't know, but it's like you... I'm gonna get into it. I've been talking about it forever in Aries. You have this like, it, it's like a mating call, okay? It's like a natural mating call. They can tell when you're their person. They can tell when you need to be scooped up or when you're in heat or something. You know, I don't know what that means here, but maybe it just means um, like scent. They can pick up on the fact, they can pick up on you. They can pick up like, I need to, I, you need to be mine. Like you need you need to be mine or you need to remain mine or you need to be mine again you are mine you've never not been mine I believe it I believe it because I can feel it I mean you know all day I could be like yeah okay but no I actually feel this I feel this person on this planet I feel that they exist I feel that they're alive and I feel like they're coming straight for you darling if they don't already have you you know what I mean <laughs> mm. this is someone who also understands that a woman needs to not stress so much like if yes she's gonna stress we all stress but you know, this is someone who would understand that 
if she's acting some type of way, it's probably because she's worried about masculine things because she's had to be a man, because she's had to worry about the bills. She's had to worry about all the things that masculine energy would usually take on. She has had to do it. So therefore she can't be the nurturing one and the, she can't be her natural feminine energy, her natural self that she wants to be. She can't fucking relax basically because she has to be a man. She's never had one. She's never had a real man. Whether she had a real father, like a father, or she had a father, but he wasn't a father, you know, or she had a father, but she had a good father. I mean, there's so many scenarios here, but either way, she still hasn't seen her own man. She hasn't had her own man. You know, she's had to, or let's say she hasn't had her own provider. She's been her own fucking provider. She's had to be. So when she gets in the energy where maybe she's not as loving or maybe she pushes people away or she shuts off or shuts down or doesn't let anybody in or runs or whatever she does i don't know cries maybe i don't know gets frustrated yells screams or just doesn't reciprocate something it's because she's in her masculine energy and she needs to know she's going to be taken care of things will be taken care of and then she can do the things she wants to do the things she thrives at she just don't have the time right now because she's busy having to take on that type of role as well she's in her masculine energy and this is a type of person who would understand that and when they see that then they they uh, it's like a call to action they want to do something about it they're like oh no 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 <clears throat> no no i can't have you over there doing all that no i'll do it i'll do it i want to see you in your full energy like they can see even more potential in her than she probably sees in herself what's up with rib cage here Somebody with ribcage, because I'm looking at this ribcage over here that I have on this t-shirt. And maybe it is something to do with that, like Halloween or something. Maybe someone's got like a uh, ribcage on a shirt or something to do with ribcage. Or maybe someone's got uh, rotisserie chicken and the ribs, you know, I don't, I don't know. Some, or ribs, somebody likes ribs. But I'm, or maybe someone here is, um, maybe has something to do with weight. I don't know, but something to do with a ribcage. Oh, or maybe even a corset. That's not for everybody, but somebody may really like corsets here the way like Renaissance time or Renaissance festivals or Renaissance or just corsets, you know, like nice, but cause I'm seeing boning, like something to do with bones or boning, bone. Mm-hmm. There's something to do with bones. I'm seeing like a whole lot of things. Or maybe it's just someone here has got a... Pop goes a weasel and a weasel goes pop. Yeah, so yeah, something to do with bones or something being solid, being solid. Well, it's this, I'm a so I wanna be a solid fixture in your life. I want to prove to you that this can last that something can last or that you can be taken care of or that you will be loved and she will be loved that's fucking maroon isn't that maroon five and she will be loved maroon five i'm getting hungry now i need to go get that it's fucking maroon five something to do with maroon i'm telling you the color maroon you're gonna be seeing it a lot or something to do with maroon okay maroon five she will be loved so i got two songs to really love a woman and she will be loved she had some trouble with herself uh-huh maybe someone's had some like real big issues before with self-esteem body dysmorphia self-image am i pretty am i ugly i don't feel good enough you know i don't like my hair i don't like my teeth i don't like my weight i've gained weight since children or i've always had issues with weight or my health problems give me weight or my stress gives me weight or my high cortisol levels give me weight or or I'm single because I keep having to wait because whatever, or, you know, or I'm not where I really want to be because I've always had to sacrifice and wait, something like that. People don't see my value. He was always there to help her. She always belonged to someone else. Oh, shit. Some of you may be with someone and then like Mr. Wright or Mr. Mrs. Wright is on the outside of you thinking this, like the second, and I mean the second I get news that may or maybe or maybe not that you are out of there. I hope you come straight to me. But if it's a masculine, they may say I'm coming straight to you. 
I drove for miles and miles and wound up at your door. It could be a distance here. I've had you so many times, but somehow I want more. And maybe this is like, not actually someone's had you so many times. Maybe they have. Maybe, maybe they have. If you're currently with somebody, they want you just as badly now as they did the first time y'all slept together. If it's an ex, they want you just as badly this time as all the times y'all had sex before in the past. If this is a, uh, someone that you've never had sex with, they, uh, they, they feel that they have already been inside of you or something like that, vice versa. Other lifetimes, they just feel, they feel like they know exactly what you feel like on the inside. I don't mind spending every day out on your corner in the pouring rain looking for the girl with a broken smile. <laughs> Tap on my window, knock on my door. I want to make you feel beautiful. Oh my god, stop. Quit it. Stop it now. Don't stop it. Stop it. But really don't though. Okay, really don't. <laughs> Hold on. I want to make you feel beautiful. I don't even know what to title this. This is so, this is like probably my favorite message I've ever gotten ever. I mean, ever. I want to make you feel beautiful. And you know why? Because it's kind of making me feel happy. You know, just to be honest. Because I really don't get in the shit like this. This isn't really my thing anymore. I, don't, I just don't, and it's not like, oh, I'm so, no, I just don't care. I really feel like I've had, I've just kind of, I just, it's just not my thing. It's, it's as simple as it is. There's no explanation. My thing is more, I'm content being single, but like, Maybe some of you may feel like you're content being single until you realize that this type of person fucking exists. You know, maybe you just think that. Like, and I mean, in, in the sense, like, they're not going to yell at you. They're not going to get angry at you. They're not going to sit here and fucking be hateful to you ever or let their friends or their exes get in their head about you or their mom or their dad get in their, you, whatever. They're not going to do that. They're not going to let society influence them about what, what they think about this person's connection with you and love with you and your past. And that they don't give a shit. This is someone who's going to love you regardless and will choose you over and over again. Like, you just don't see that. You know what I mean? They're not going to try to make you feel bad for shit you experienced in your past, especially before they ever came along. Or even in the time that y'all haven't been together if it's an ex. It doesn't matter. Vice versa. You know, you wouldn't do that if this is you. It's like, no, I, I love you. I love you. Love is love. You know, I, I love you very much. I love you. I would give you everything. This is that type of love where you see on Titanic where the two people are laying in the bed and they're dying together because they drown together and they choose to just lay in bed and hold each other. That's this type of love right here. <clears throat> We're going to go out together. Maybe someone was with somebody, you or them or both of y'all, or for some of you, maybe this person was with someone when y'all met, especially if y'all haven't been together before. I'm telling you, I don't think they are now. If you're with this person right now, I think you're going to be with them the rest of your life. Now, that's not all of you. Some of you are leaving somebody to, or, yeah, really? Some of you are leaving someone to be with the new person, but the new one is the right one, okay? Some of you, the, there is no new one. It's the one you've got right now. That's the right one. Only you're going to know. Am I making sense? Unless it's reversed. Because <sighs> some people are with the wrong one and they know they are, you know? But some people aren't. They know they're with the right one. Um, if this is someone from the past, I think this is someone who possibly really wants back in. And they're like, you're my baby. You've always been my baby. I don't know how it ended with y'all, but maybe you just grew apart or something. I don't know. Maybe they felt like you deserve more, but they've always been the type to love you like that. You know, they love you. That's what they're saying. But anyway, all right, guys, I'm going to go. Thank you for being here with me, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.